If your dog is limping on their hind leg, Animal Wise explains the possible causes of sudden lameness so you can best avoid it becoming permanent. Ruptures of the cruciate ligaments of the knee. In this condition, the limp will develop very suddenly. You will see the dog may be able to take a few steps, but then draws their hind leg back sharply. The knee might even be swollen and hot to the touch. These symptoms indicate a rupture of the cruciate ligaments in the knee. This issue has a greater occurrence in some breeds than others. For example, miniature dogs with short legs such as the Jack Russell have a predisposition to this problem, especially when they're overweight. This doesn't mean it won't occur in larger breeds. These larger dogs can also experience ligament tears that are exacerbated by anatomical factors. It is common in American Staffordshire Terriers, Labradors, Rottweilers, Tibetan Mastiffs and Boxers, but it can occur to any dog. If you see your dog is limping on one of their hind legs and you feel swelling in the knee, you will need to ensure the animal is allowed to rest as much as possible to avoid permanent damage. If the inflammation is significant, you can place a cold compress to reduce the swelling or you take them to a veterinary clinic for assessment. Patella dislocation. In this pathology, the symptoms are very characteristic. You will notice that your dog will hop on their back leg when walking and will keep it raised until suddenly they walk normally again, as if nothing happened. This is because the kneecap is dislocated and the dog will jump up until it gets the kneecap back into place. Patellar dislocation can be congenital or traumatic. In the case of being congenital, it's something the dog has had since birth. It is more common in very small or very large breeds. Patella dislocations have different degrees, varying from grades 1 to 6. The veterinary specialist will tell you what grade your dog experiences and explain how to proceed accordingly. It's important you do not let this problem go untreated as it can lead to osteoarthritis. In the event the dislocation is traumatic, such as due to a blow or a fall, the procedure is the same. It is best to go to the veterinarian to prescribe the appropriate treatment depending on the severity. Hip dysplasia the most characteristic symptoms of this issue occur when moving at height, such as going down the stairs, jumping off the couch, or leaping into the car. The breeds most predisposed to this problem are Golden Retrievers, Labrador Retrievers, Mastiffs, and German Shepherds. If you observe any of these symptoms in your canine, do not hesitate to go to a veterinarian immediately. Again, the specialist will perform a physical examination and carry out diagnostic tests such as x-rays to evaluate the degree of the dysplasia. Lower grades can be managed with physical therapy, medication and ensuring they have a proper diet. More advanced cases will likely require surgical intervention. Splinter, thorn or foreign object. When you notice a limp in your dog's hind leg, we encourage you to carefully inspect their paw for any possible objects that may have gotten stuck between their toes or in the paw pad itself. Splinters and thorns are common such objects. It is very annoying and the animal may be retracting their leg all the time. When the object has barbs or is embedded deeply into the skin, you will have to have a vet remove it. Let us know if your dog has had a problem with their hind leg, and we'll see you next time.